Some countries are cold. Some countries are hot. Spread the earth out flat, and we can see the world at a glance. Different countries have different climates. The people in cold areas wear fur coats, and the people in hot areas wear short-sleeved shirts. Why is the climate different in each part of the world? That is because the Earth we live on is round. So, how much sunlight an area gets is different. The area that gets the most sunlight is warm, and the area that gets the least sunlight is cold. Climates can be divided into tropical climate, dry climate, temperate climate, subpolar climate, polar climate, and alpine climate. Everything is covered with snow and ice. This is the polar climate zone. Polar climate zones are found at the North Pole and the South Pole, which are at the top and bottom of the world. A mommy bear and a baby bear have come out to play. The baby bear with its white shaggy fur is very cute. The Arctic has animals that live in very cold weather, like polar bears and seals. Antarctica is colder than the Arctic, therefore ice doesn't melt at all. We can see penguins waddling in Antarctica. People have lived around the Arctic Ocean for a long time. The people who live here wear thick fur coats to shield them from the cold and live in igloos. They catch seals and fish because they can't farm here. Subpolar climate zone with a very long winter. This is the subpolar climate zone where trees with needle-like leaves grow high up in the sky. Russia and northern Europe have this kind of climate. The subpolar climate zone has a longer summer and warmer climate than the polar climate zone. However, it has a much longer winter season than any other zones except the polar climate zone. The ground in the subpolar climate zone is light gray. Small creatures cannot live here because it is too cold. So we cannot see earthworms, frogs, and snakes here. Shh! I've heard a sound in the forest. Aha! It's a sound of a squirrel eating nuts. As morning light streams down to the forest, sables, deer, and reindeer begin to wake up. The people in the subpolar climate zone spend the long winters in log cabins with warm fireplaces. Dry climate zone where sandy dust blows. Wow! An endless sand desert! A desert receives very little or no rainfall throughout the year. Desert daytime temperature is high enough to burn everything. However, at night, the temperature drops to near freezing. The areas with vast deserts that stretch out are part of the dry climate zone. Dry climate is found in North Africa and desert areas of Australia, etc. However, even deserts have life. Look at the herd of camels crossing the desert carrying a heavy load. A camel is the most widely seen animal in the desert. In the desert, there are animals like the camel that do not drink water often. There are also many animals which rest during the hot daytime and move at night like fennec foxes and rattlesnakes. The people in the dry climate zone usually live around oases. An oasis is a place with a spring that is surrounded by plants. People raise livestock such as goats and make villages near oases. People wear long baggy clothes that cover the entire body. Tropical climate zone, the kingdom of animals. Trickle, trickle. 
The rain fell heavily for a while and stopped. In a tropical climate zone, it rains several times a day, and it is hot all year round. Tropical climate zones include Central Africa, South America's Amazon jungle, and Southeast Asia. When the rain stopped, long-armed apes run around in the forest. The gorilla sees a hidden python and alligator waiting for their prey. Having seen each other, the python slips around the trees and the alligator goes into the swamp with a splash. There are wide grasslands outside of the jungle. Here we can see meat-eating animals like lions and leopards, as well as plant-eating animals like giraffes and zebras. People living in tropical climate zones live in houses made from branches and leaves to keep the houses cool. In temperate climate zones, there are four very different seasons. In the spring, colorful flowers bloom. In the summer, trees get much greener and thicker. In the fall, the tree leaves turn red and yellow. And in the winter, white snow covers the land. Look at the flock of birds flying in a blue sky. Those are birds moving to a place where the weather is warm. They move whenever the weather gets cold. People living in temperate climate zones change clothes according to season. However, clothes are not the only thing that change with the season. People have to do different work based on the season. They plant seeds in the spring and avoid heavy rain in the summer. And in the fall, they harvest grain to spend the winter. Glaciers, which are huge blocks of ice, have started melting in the North Pole and South Pole as the Earth gets warmer. Melting ice raises the sea level and makes the land we live on smaller. The natives who live near the Arctic Ocean are called Inuit. But there are no people in Antarctica, except for researchers who stay only for a short time. Trees that have needle-shaped leaves, which grow in subpolar climate zones, are called coniferous trees. Deserts are becoming bigger and bigger because of global warming that is caused by environmental pollution. Africa and the Amazon jungle are being destroyed by environmental pollution and constant development. If all of the jungles are destroyed, there will be less oxygen in the air and the earth will get much warmer than it is now. The temperate climate zones have lots of rain during the summer. When a typhoon or heavy rain comes, houses or roads get flooded with water.